the other um, the other thing I wanted to ask you about was, and also Tony, because you you moved out here by then, was mm -hmm. uh, the Watts riots. Right. Um, where you were in Culper City. Forty-three. Mm -hmm. um, no, Sixty-five. Watts, Watts riots. Oh. Sixty-five. No. Yeah. What, what do you remember of it? Oh, that was interesting. So the first thing I heard was um, they were shooting at the planes and we were at work. So, um, you know, nobody knew that it was the Watts, you know, the quote, the Watts rise. And, but uh, actually we had such a cohesive uh, group that we, um, they, uh, you know, basically allowed us to stay or whatever. I mean, they really got on the situation to find out what was going on. And that was, before, you know, before it really got bad. And then um, one of the people that I worked with, interesting enough, was called up for um, a National Guard. Mm -hmm. well, actually, at least one. And uh, basically what happened uh, during the Watts riots is that they cordoned off the area and you basically watched it on TV, you know, um, in which they didn't really have that, you know, as much coverage, but uh, basically had to stay out, stay out of the area. Um, it was, I think, shocking. Um, I remember... Um, Later, Tom and I were in New York. Or well, when did we go to New York? We went to New York, I guess, during the month right? So when we watched, we went to see Golden Boy with um, Sammy Davis Jr. And he actually came on and made a comment about the, the riots and whatever. And um, I, I think the, the idea, I, the way I look at it now is that they contain the area and basically let people burn themselves out. And uh, I, given probably the police mentality, um, it was probably the best way to deal with that riot that they could have done. I really and think. and the hatred against the police too. Yeah, I mean they could the the police would have been killed mm -hmm. if they really tried. I mean the National Guard did a very good job as far as the way I look at it. And. Um, you know, it's interesting because I've, I've seen movies of the Watts riots and, um, you know, the gasoline going up and, the, yeah, and, and, the, and I usually watch it and seen it with mixed audience and, you know, the main thing is, you know, look, how, look how cheap the gas prices were, you know? <laughs> it's like, it, even though it was a big event and to, I, I think it blew a hole in what people think of L.A., you know, this, Land, um, it, it, I, I think people, most people that I know take pretty much took it to stride. Mm -hmm. um, strange as it may seem. I think the, the, the good news was that when they had the Rodney King riots, um, everybody knew except for the police. That I don't understand. Every, I mean, at work they said, you know, go home. As soon as that, they announced that verdict. Um, <coughs> I remember when they announced it, everybody in my work said, they're going to riot, there's going to be right. a riot. Right, everybody knew. Mm -hmm. It wasn't even a panic. Mm -hmm. They just like to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. So I think from that standpoint, I think the watch riots were kind of set the tone for how do we handle it. And I think LA can handle things pretty well. They don't panic. Now we have a lot of new people. I don't know what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's... it's, it's also interesting how the, the role of the LAPD in both of those, and also the lack of response. Well, the PD, well, it's, it's uh, <coughs> and then the latest one, mm -hmm. they the police are, live, uh, they have their near us, and they were actually evacu evacuating, well, you know, that was uh, 90, what, 92? 92. 92, yeah. So, um, what about you, Tom? Where were you during the 65 Watts riots? I was working for a small SNL, and I was asked to pick up and return them home from 
so they can get to work. But I was right. Well, in fact, I was living very close to where a lot of it really happened. I was living on Cimarron in the 5500 block at that time. It, it started really right around Crenshaw and Slauson and Vernon, and where I was living, very, very close to that area. But, uh, I mean, I went where I wanted to go and whatever, and had no problem. Kept the kids. If, they, if I was going somewhere, I wouldn't be the kids by themselves or anything I took away. Did you have a, a, an emotional response to seeing it? Um, I, Tony says she was, it was shocking. I know uh, it was devastating to a lot of people. Well, I guess maybe my military experience helped me is to stay out of it, don't get involved in it, try and stay away from it. Mm -hmm. Because if I didn't need to go out, it wouldn't be a point to go out. Mm -hmm. But I didn't miss a day of work. And the company I was working for was located right there on us at uh, Adams and uh, Western. And, In the thick of it. Hmm? In the thick of it. Yeah. And I went to work every day, did my job. 